Hey, I'm Gopar, and this is a video on my Pomodoro workflow. I previously made a video on my thoughts on Pomodoro and how engineers can take advantage of Pomodoro without using the traditional 25 minutes. If you have not seen that, I recommend you see it. It's a short video, probably like five minutes. But anyways, I'm going to show my workflow as to how I use the Pomodoro in my every everyday technique, uh, not technique, but workflow when I work. Big surprise there. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus now on the text editor. I use Emacs and Emacs is highly customizable. It has a plethora of things that you can do and the more you learn about it, the more you realize that it can do even more things. It's a never ending journey. But anyways, enough about that. What I wanna discuss is, oh, am I not uh, focused on this? Uh, all right, cool. Uh, what I wanna discuss is Pomodoro. Now, Emacs has a package called Org Pomodoro. Don't worry about that. I'm just gonna go over a lot of workflows, uh, my workflow. And what I'm doing is this block right here, code block that you see highlighted, is the way I configure this package. So I'll just stop, start from the top. And I'm saying, hey, I'm gonna use this package called Oracle Pomodoro. I'm gonna ensure it's installed. Don't worry about this, we're gonna ignore that. And I'm gonna bind the key, the F12 key, in my keyboard to start a Pomodoro session. That's how it's gonna do it. That's how I start. Now, I have some hooks, which sound exactly what they kinda do. They hook into something. And the hook that I'm hooking into is when I start a Pomodoro and when I finish a Pomodoro. So when I start a Pomodoro, it's going to run this function that has descriptive name, load window config and close work agenda and save window config and show work agenda. Pretty straightforward. Now I have some custom variables that I am configuring within the package that I'm using, the York Pomodoro. And pretty much I'm saying that a short break is 20 minutes and then a long break is 30 minutes and an average Pomodoro session is 60 minutes. Now, if you're familiar with Pomodoro, there are four intervals. Where in each interval, there is a break. And usually, in the original Pomodoro, it's 25 minutes of work and then five minutes of break. The five minutes of break is the short break. And then on the fourth interval, you get the long break, which is like 10 or 15 minutes. So for me, short breaks are 20 minutes and long breaks are 30 minutes. And an average Pomodoro session is, as you can see here, 60 minutes. Now, I have some functions here that I use when I am not working. So if I'm just doing st stuff in my agenda for home, for average, anything that is not related to work, I switch over to the home Pomodoro, which pretty much just says that, hey, use the, at, use the traditional Pomodoro approach, which is 25 minutes, and then short break of five minutes. Now, the work one is, like I said, 60 with 20 minutes, no big deal. But these two are the main things that I want to show. Now, this save window config and show work agenda is being called when the I finish an org Pomodoro. So when I finish a Pomodoro, it's gonna, it's gonna clear out all the windows that I'm on working. For example, if I have a few files open that I am working on or test files or anything like that, file browser or whatever, it's gonna clear the screen it's gonna show my agenda and my work agenda for that day. So you can, in Emacs, you can configure multiple agenda views. You can do one for work, for days. You can do one for your cousin, your brother, your sister, whatever. You can just configure an agenda and tell it what to do. And for here, I am saying, all right, show the agenda, the W, and W is just a shortcut for work. And right here, which I'm gonna show the agenda right now but I wanna go over the next function. The next function is load window config and close work agenda. So in the previous function, this one, I am saving the configuration, the window configuration. So I'm saving where everything is at, where each file, each buffer is located. Basically the layout of the window, I'm saving it into a variable. And right here, I'm jump to register. It just means load that window configuration up. So I don't lose anything, which is pretty nice. Okay, so you're probably saying, okay, cool. So what happens once the Pomodoro ends? Once the Pomodoro ends, I have it so that it rings a little bell. And when that bell rings, I know that the session is over. And I can just press F12 again. And Emacs will know that I mean 
that I mean to finish up the Pomodoro. And when that happens is it will show up the work agenda. And this is the work agenda. Right now it's pretty empty, it's pretty bland, which is intentional. So it'll say, so once I'm break, I can have a few things to look over. So for example, I have asked PM about the fees and email. That's something that I need to do for me personally. Plan wedding. I have a, a friend has a wedding that I am going to and I need to plan the trip. I need to book the places that I'm staying and all that. And that is something that is in progress as you can see. And over here I say edit and post first video. So that's something, that's a project that I have, which is recording videos and editing them. And then, which is due in one day. And then finally, I have sent an invoice to X person. So that is due in two days. So that is what I have when my Oric Pomodoro is up, which is pretty straightforward. And I do this for every session. So whenever I finish a Pomodoro, this shows up. And then I know what to do during my break. Either I have to do this or something else. Now over here in this section is showing anything that is not scheduled or properly sorted. For example, if I if I write down an idea, like let's say call plumber, but I haven't scheduled it yet, it's going to show up here. That way it'll tell me, hey, you might want to schedule this. Look at this item and figure out what you want to do with it. And it just shows right there. It's kind of like a convenience thing. There's another view that I have, agenda view that I use for this type of thing, which is my weekly review agenda. And that has a lot more things that, that I use for customizing. But anyways, this is just a very high level view on how I use the Org Pomodoro workflow to my advantage, how I use it in my workflow. And hopefully that gives you some type of inspiration as to how to configure it for yours, whether it's a physical timer that you have that you bought off of Amazon for like five, 10 bucks or a very fancy one, or if you just have a software that you bought or you made your own. Just ideas on how to approach it and how to make it work for you. But that is it, thanks.